And we're back with this delicious flavor, flavor, flavorful vegan spaghetti squash. And we did a side salad with it. And we also did some Texas toast, garlic toast that is. If you want to see how we made this, keep on watching. things first we want to put some plant butter in a bowl and melt it down once it's melted we're going to add some black salt and some pink himalayan salt and give that a good mix and go ahead and set that aside because we're going to go ahead and start on our spaghetti squash so i got two of them because we are cutting them in half today now i'm gonna let you know baby these things are very hard to cut as you can see i had to cut it in a weird way but once you get them cut in half this is what it looks like. It has those nice little seeds and guts. And what we're gonna do is take a spoon or a fork and just go ahead and remove all of the seeds and the guts in the middle. Once you have all of that removed, this is what the spaghetti squash looks like, but just make sure that you have all of those seeds out. So next we're going to take that butter and salt and pepper mixture that we had and just taste those on to the spaghetti squash. Now spaghetti squash itself does not have a taste. It soaks up whatever taste you put on. Because these are serving as our noodles, we want our noodles to have a nice buttery salt and pepper taste. Now you can do this with olive oil, but I chose to do it with plant butter. Next, we're gonna flip them upside down on a baking sheet. Baby, listen, I didn't have any baking sheet paper, so I used oil. It was absolutely fine. We wanna put those in the oven at 400 for 40 minutes. Now, while our spaghetti squash is cooking, we wanna go ahead and make our meat, our meat substitute. So today, we will be using some portobello mushrooms. So you wanna go ahead and chop those up and listen. This is one pack of mushrooms and I'm not chopping them in any specific way. I'm just chopping them to be smaller. We're gonna add some plant butter, bell pepper and onion and also some garlic and give that a good mix and let it simmer down. Now once it does simmer down, we're gonna go ahead and add in our chopped mushroom. Next, we're gonna go in with our next meat substitute, some organic tofu and this is firmly pressed but it does still have water in it so you wanna make sure you drain all of the water off. And I use paper towel to kinda just smush it a little bit and get that excess water. And it also breaks up the tofu so that we can crumble it up into the mixture and add that to our mushrooms. Of course you can crumble that tofu as small or as large how you like it, but I like to do mine really small so it kind of mimics the ground beef. So I'm just rubbing it in between my hands. After I get it crumbled up, we're gonna go ahead and season it. So I'm using some basil, oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. Are you a sugar baby? Do you add sugar to your spaghetti? Well, I do. So since I didn't have any sugar girl, I used some agave, just a little tap tap. <laughs> and listen, it made all the difference in the world. So while that mixture is cooking, you wanna continue to stir it up and mix it and chop those tofu pieces up. Now once the water has cooked all out of there, you wanna go ahead and add your tomato sauce or your spaghetti sauce. I am using Ryo's homemade tomato and basil sauce because it is vegan. And I'm gonna go in with some onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt. that's mixed in I'm gonna go in with some Borson dairy free garlic and herb cheese spread listen oh my god this stuff is so amazing okay and like I said it is dairy free so then we're gonna go in with our cheeses I am using two different cheeses mix the cheese in and melt it down into that mixture Now 
Once the cheese is melted, you wanna put it down on low to simmer and remove your spaghetti squash from the oven. Go ahead and flip them right side up because we're gonna go ahead and fork the noodles or the spaghetti squash out. So like I said, I'm just using a fork and I'm just gently scraping the sides and that makes the spaghetti form. It makes the little noodles come out. So we're just gonna do this to all four of them. Next, I'm gonna go in and add another scoop of that borsin in each little spaghetti squash bowl and mix it in well so that our little noodles will have a garlicky good taste. Next, we're gonna take our meat mixture and go ahead and put a scoop into each of the spaghetti squash bowls and spread them out. We wanna make sure that that meat is covering from wall to wall on that spaghetti bowl, okay? Once we're done spreading the meat in, we wanna go ahead and add our cheeses. Again, I am using two different cheeses, okay? They are listed down in the description. Remember, all ingredients are listed down in the description. Now we're gonna take that fork and just go ahead and mix in the cheese with the meat mixture. I know it's not meat, y'all. Y'all know what I mean, okay? It's giving meat, okay? And our spaghetti squash noodles and just mix it in very, very well so that we can get some of that sauce and cheese on the noodles. Now, of course, there is more spaghetti squash around the edges, so the more that you scratch with your fork, the more noodles that you'll have to come up. Once you have the mix, we're gonna take our spoon and go ahead and add another spoonful of the meat mixture onto all of the spaghetti squashes. So this time we're just gonna add cheddar cheese on top and pop them in the oven on broil for five minutes on high. In a mixing bowl, we're gonna get some more of that good plant butter. I would recommend using a half a stick. I did end up adding more, but I used some minced garlic and also some fresh parsley, and we're gonna go ahead and mix that. This is going to be the garlic spread, baby. This is some A1 garlic spread, okay? For our garlic bread, and we're making some garlic Texas toast. I love the frozen kind, but I wanted to make mine just a little bit fresh, so that's what it looks like mixed up. So I do have some um, artesiano bread, and we're gonna go ahead and spread that mix all over the bread now you can do both sides I just decided to do one but of course do whatever you like baby All right, then we're gonna pop them on a baking sheet. I'll use some foil. After they are half done, we wanna go ahead and remove them from the oven and add some cheese, that's optional. And I am going to make me a side salad as well, and I'm just gonna chop up some tomatoes, kale, and cucumber. So this is what the vegan spaghetti squash is looking like, baby. It's getting real spaghetti, okay? From my view, it was so delicious, you guys. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. Let me know down below if you're gonna try this recipe and do not forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell.